Hi everyone, uh, it's Dwayne. Welcome to our blog. Just wanted to have a quick chat to you today about uh, a phone call I received this morning from a job that we missed out on about 18 months ago. Look, we get phone calls all the time um, from jobs that we've missed out on. At the time, um, they think we're possibly a little bit too expensive, but they always come back. Uh, it's not uncommon for us to get a, a couple of phone calls a month. Um, this one in particular has run back this morning. Um, the house has been completed now for not quite six months and it's having all sorts of issues. Um, they've now taken it to QBCC and trying to get the builder to rectify it and they've now asked us if we would like to do all the rectification work at the home. Look, it's not something we like getting involved with. We don't want to be messing with other builders' work. We're, we're busy doing our own quality work. Um, but look, it's a situation that we do get into a lot. And like at the time when you're getting your quotes and you're shopping around for builders, you really need to follow the steps and do your due diligence and make sure you're finding a builder that's gonna build you the home that you're after. Um, so a few things you need to do to get that. Like referral is the best work. Any builder out there or, or a contractor that does great work is going to have good referrals. So make sure you ring around, you talk to some uh, past clients um, and just ask all the questions you can think of, like how the build went, did it stay on time, stay on budget, Was it easy? did the builder communicate well, did he have regular site meetings, did he keep them informed? Um, and then also, while you're going through that um, process, you need to get a detailed quote. Like you, you can't be accepting a builder's quote based on the bottom figure all the time. You've got to make sure you're getting the detail. Like a, a normal quote should be 15, 20, 30 pages long. It should outline everything in the project. Um, and you've really got to make sure you read through that thoroughly before you make a decision. It, it, it can't just be based on the bottom figure. Um, one thing I like to tell people to do is like, you ask for not just referrals from their past clients, ask if you can speak to some of their contractors, their suppliers, because they'll have good feedback. Like These builders are dealing with these people almost on a daily basis. They'll know what their attitude's like, if they're um, trying to screw them on price all the time, or if they leave things out and then they make mistakes throughout the build. So, like, don't be afraid to ask questions. Like We tell our clients, no question's a silly question. If you've got something, it might, you might think it's silly, but we do this every day. Like, don't be afraid to ask questions. And if the builder's um, wanting your work and going to do a good job, like, he'll be happy to answer the question, even if it is a silly question. So, um, look, we just wanted to give you a little bit of insight into what happens out there. It's like anything in life, you get what you pay for. There is always a reason. If there is a builder that is substantially cheaper, there's always a reason. And nine times out of 10, it comes back and bites. So. Um, look, really spend the time early on, do your homework, have as many meetings as you need, like make sure you're comfortable, make sure the builder's answering your questions, communicating with you well, um, informing you of, making sure he's getting back to you when you ask questions. Don't just sign a contract based on the bottom figure.